So today by special request, I'm going to do a face jewelry design because my good friend Jerry asked me to. So I'm going to start off by adding a little bit of pink to the cheeks. This is the pink shimmer powder that I love to use as just a little bit of color for the cheek. And I just kind of rub it on there. And then I'm going to add some color to the eyes. And this is a bolder color, but it really looks nice. Close your eyes. And I added two colors on the sponge. So now that I've added some color to the eyes, I'm going to start off with the jewel in the middle of the forehead. And it's going to look something similar to an oval. So I'll start off in the middle with the jewel. And I'm going to fill it in. And I will do the same but make smaller jewels right on the side. Kind of on a slant. Now I'm going to take my details white. And I'm going to use it to outline my jewels and also to create the headband. The details are nothing more than um, this little applicator brush with liquid and they make the perfect dots. So I'm just going to border my jewel by making the dots all around it. And you can control how big your dots are by pressing harder with your details. And that part is really up to you. And I'm going to do the same for the other jewels. And I'm going to keep them pretty much close together. And I'm going to use my style stick to create the larger headband. So I'll start in the middle, give it a little twist, just to get the contrast between the smaller dots and the larger ones. Now I'm going to come in with my silver details and line them again and add a little bit of silver to it. just to give it kind of that sparkling touch. I'm also going to add it right in between the white just to fill in the holes and give it the metallic touch. And I'll repeat for all steps, all sides of the jewelry. Now the next thing I'm going to do is give the jewel in the middle just a little bit of a white highlight and these jewels on the sides as well. Later on we'll be adding some graffiti glitter to it. Now I'm also going to create another chain but using the details from the nose to the ear and this is very common in Indian practices. So I'm just going to add a tad bit of black just here and there, not everywhere, because I don't want to overdo it with the black. But just to give it that little bit of outline. And in there, and along the other side, the opposite side of where I put the white. And I have the brown, and hopefully you can see a little bit of it. So for the finishing touches, I'm just going to add a little bit of lipstick and a little bit of graffiti glitter. And she will be one beautiful Indian princess. I love the red on the lips. I think it just makes the whole design. And now I'm going to use a little bit of the graffiti glitter just to give it that 3D effect. And this is just glitter gel and it comes with a point on it. So I'm just going to add it a little bit here and there, kind of in every other dot. And when it dries, it dries 3D so it will really give it that jeweled effect. I'm just going to add it here and there.
just to make it stand out a little bit more. And voila, you have a beautiful Indian princess.